ultra marathon training one of the top tips that I think I've picked up is make the training specific to whatever race that you're doing so by making it specific what do I mean well I read a really good bit of advice in Jason Coop's book I'll put a link to it down below it's probably one of the best training books on ultramarathon running that I've read and it talks about looking at the course the race profile that you're doing in terms of distance and meters and trying to recreate that in your run so Lavaredo is 120 kilometers around 6,000 meters of climbing and so when doing a training run if I'm doing 12k then I should aim to get around 600 meters of climbing so 10% up and down to keep it proportionate in the misty mountains today actually the black mountains in wales i did a training run here a few weeks ago back to back long runs before ultra trail snowdonia put a link just there for you if you're interested in that very hot sunny day today very humid where i live is very flat so getting those kind of elevations has been really difficult so one of the things that I've done is do the, all the climbs at Lavaredo on a treadmill. So the first climb is around 5.2 kilometers long. I think it's around 11% average. And so I've recreated that on the treadmill. Doesn't help with the downhill, but definitely notice a difference in the climbing. And then today, for example, I'm basically trying to recreate the first 35 kilometers or so to the first time cut off of the race on today's run so you see the profiles are pretty similar the other key thing about making it specific is in relation to kit so i'm carrying all my mandatory kit and because i can't recreate the altitude here that I have at Lavaredo. I've stuck in an extra two water bottles, which adds another kilo or so to the weight of the backpack, just to make it a little bit harder, which is probably why you can hear I'm panting quite a lot. The other thing that I'm going to do is do some heat training I did that previously before Transvolcania and it seemed to work really well Dolomites might be a bit hotter but also there's the added benefit of doing the sauna protocol that increases the red blood cell count which again will help with altitude The final tip, which I think is key, is related to the underfoot conditions. Is it rocky and technical? Is it mainly grass, muddy, and try and train in those as well? I have failed miserably on that today, as the Dolomites are very rocky, and this has basically been a grass track all the way up. First climb of the day done. About 650, 700 meters of climbing. And that's basically just trying to recreate the same as the first climb of Lavaredo. Run done, 34 kilometers and around 15, 1600 meters of climbing and descending. So that pretty much represents the first time cutoff for Lavaredo. I hope you found those top tips useful. They are something which has worked well for me when I've applied them to my training. So hopefully you can too and get some benefit from them. If you've enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing to the channel. I've got over 900 subscribers now, which I never thought I would have when I started the channel. And 
really appreciate all the support, all the comments. So if you do enjoy these videos, want to keep track of my training, then please do subscribe. I'd absolutely love to get to a thousand subscribers in the next couple of months. Not sure how possible that will be, but yeah, you can always help by uh, clicking the subscribe button.